In other news tonight, stakeholders of one of the oldest industries in the Bahamas are being encouraged to safeguard their industry. The charge by the nation's second in command being made in the wake of that U.S. security advisory. Here's Carla Palmer. As a group of straw vendors sat for breakfast at the Crab House to mark their first annual New Year's team meeting, Deputy Prime Minister Mr. Philip Davis gave them food for thought and a reason to act accordingly to protect the industry. You remember that little adage? The one apple to spoil a whole barrel. I also thought when I looked at the theme and thought about that little parable, the little story we heard when we were growing up about the uh, Spoil the one apple spoiling the whole barrel is what is just happening with the the tourist advisory passed out by the American Embassy about jet ski operators. How sad. How sad. <clears throat> and what that means, what could happen if an advisory comes out and says, look, because one a week. Just take it just takes one a week to do something terrible to one of the tourists. The next thing you know, you have another advisory coming from the American. They don't go in the Nassau straw market. Do we understand what all that means? Highlighting the straw vendors meeting theme this year, all of years one, Minister Davis invited them to count the cost. Counting the cost means you have to understand what what the consequences of each of our actions could be. Because it takes all of us uh, to make this work. And only take one of us to make it not work. I'm telling bad on all of us. Dwelling on the premise that there is strength in unity, the Deputy Prime Minister challenged the vendors gathered to embrace what he regards as the acronym of the word team. You look at a team together E each achieve more. So again, all are we being one, each of us working together and recognizing ourselves as one will achieve more. As Deputy Prime Minister Mr. Davis pledged the support of his office to building the straw and craft industry, he also solicited the support of all stakeholders to do likewise. Carla Palmer, ZNS Network News.